Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Zainab and today my topic of presentation is stop violence against women. This is the end uh, to end end of uh, stop violence 2022 is the last year uh, and this topic is uh, very important because it is, it is the global public issue and that lead to very serious health consequences. So let us start uh, by the definition what the violence is gender gender based violence or violence against women it is any act of gender based violence that results in physical sexual psychological harm or suffering to a woman including threats of such acts arbitrary deprivation of liberty whether occurring in public or private life this is the definition stated by un about the violence against women there are many types of violence that includes domestic sexual physical harassment at workplace during antenatal and postnatal period during pandemic of covid-19 and dowry related violence especially in our culture domestic violence means that violence that take place at home and it includes physical verbal emotional economic religious abuse of a woman sexual violence is forcing someone to have sex after being hurt either physically or emotionally forcing someone to look act or pose for pornography physical violence is deliberate use of physical force with the potential for causing harm it includes scratching or biting throwing hair pulling slapping and hitting harassment at workplace harassment means any unwelcome sexual advance request for sexual favors or other verbal or written communication or physical conduct of a sexual nature or sexually demeaning attitudes causing interference with work performance or creating hostile or offensive work environment do you know that uh, there are different health consequences of a violence and a doctor is the first person where the patient or victim can complain about the violence so violence uh, in during antenatal and postnatal period can lead to abortion preterm delivery preterm labor preterm delivery placental abruption depression sleep difficulties suicidal attempts and there's increased risk of infant and child mortality uh, and morbidity during covid-19 this violence against uh, violence uh, gender based violence increase and this is due to lockdown this lockdown during covid-19 increase the exposure of women to abusive partners and family members while limiting their access to health services dowry related violence any act of violence or harassment associated with the giving or receiving of dowry at any time before during or after marriage it is serious problem that affects the lives of women and girls especially in this region this is the who survey in which uh, 40 uh, 40% of the women report for sexual harassment 36% for for physical abuse 50% for verbal abuse respect respect is the strategy from the who and un uh, to prevent the uh, violence against women each uh, letter stands for a one strategy strategy so these are the seven strategies for prevention of violence against women suggested by who r stands for relationship skill strengthening e stands for empowerment of women s stands for services ensured p stands for poverty reduced e stands for enabling environments created c stands for child and adolescent abuse prevented and t st- stands for transformed attitudes beliefs and norms do you know what is the punishment of harassment at workplace in pakistan it is imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 5 lakhs or both and where to complain if you are um, a victim of harassment so where you can complain implementation of protection against harassment of women at workplace act 2000 2010 through this act you can complain directly through madadgar helpline that number is 1098 you can send your written complaint uh, on a website www.ombudsperson.punjab.government.pk 
every uh, every institute especially government institute have a local committee uh, harassment committee you can complain your um, written complaint you can submit your written complaint to that committee like qmc in qmc bvi there is institutional harassment committee where you can put your complaint best tools for to eliminate violence against women are education training and preventions conclusion women should be aware of their right to speak against violence to be respected to be protected to be treated fairly and on equality basis to safe work environment and to speak and negotiate so when women are aware of their rights they can they can stop these activities and they can complain against these activities and we can eliminate or prevent violence against women thank you so much